So the Ryzen 2 and Crosshair Hero 7 have arrived. So uh, we're going to do an unboxing. Why not? Got the knife. Ryzen 2700X, if the camera will focus on that. There we go. Comes with the uh, RGB cooler. So uh, there she is. 2700X. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Super. And then we have got the Hero here as well. There you can go. Hero 7. So I'll just move these boxes out of the way. And uh, we'll box these quickly now. So we'll start off with the CPU. Packaging looks very similar to the um, old Ryzen uh, processor boxes. So we've got the stock cooler here. There it is, there's the CPU. 2700X in the same packaging as before. And then obviously we've got the stock cooler here, which I probably will not be using. It's, uh, I've got a water block and various other things, so let's just have a quick look at this. It comes with a couple of RGB cables by the looks of it. It's got some crappy pre-applied um, thermal paste on it. Uh, it's pretty big. It's definitely bigger than the old stock cooler. And uh, it's got an RGB fan. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice for a stock cooler. Um, quite big, actually. But uh, we won't be using that. Like I say, we'll be using water um, or dice. Probably dice today. Because uh, that is coming, hopefully later on. The dice has not arrived yet at this point. So, uh, I'll just put that back in the box for now because we're not going to use it. Super, we'll leave the processor out for now. So, let's have a look at the um, motherboard here. So, Asus box presentation, pretty nice. quick look at the board, see what it's like compared to the old Hero. So I've got the Hero 6 as well, as you would have seen yesterday in my video that I did insulating that board. That's not what needs to come out of here. So we're at my board with the accessories because they're usually fairly boring. So first thing, this has a integrated I.O. shield, it has a PS2 port, which is the main thing for me personally, which is pretty nice. Um, it's black instead of grey, as you can see the uh, plastic and the shroud and the little bits are all um, black. It doesn't have a 1x slot up here, that used to be a 1x slot there and now I think that's a M.2 heatsink or something, but we'll probably end up taking that off. Um, this one does not have the AM3 cooler mounts either, it only has AM4 cooler mounts. So that is interesting. Um, let's have a look. The audio chip's been moved down, but we don't really care about that. Other than that, it looks pretty similar to the 6, to be honest. I mean, it's just basically more black. Uh, now, interestingly, they have moved some of the buttons, so... The start button is now in this top corner with the reset button, but weirdly the retry and I think safe boot button down here are um, still down here, which is a bit weird. And it's also got the slow mode as well. 
which is interesting. Uh, the VRM looks uh, pretty similar and the heat sinks look quite similar as well. They might have a little bit more surface area but not a great deal compared to the old one. Um, socket still feels pretty much the same as well. So yeah, there you go, there's a uh, Hero 7 motherboard. Not particularly exciting to be fair. Apart from the PS2 part, which is the main reason we got that.